Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My dear student, again we are back to our online presentation class because the situation has worsened uh, and uh, co pandemic called COVID-19 is responsible for this worsening of situation. Okay, we cannot uh, uh, just fight shy of our study, my dear students. We must go on. We must uh, proceed with our uh, prescribed syllabus, with our study, and uh, our regular study will help us uh, to achieve a desired result in our uh, exam. So, uh, I hope you, you will be serious and dedicated uh, to your study. Okay, today uh, our lesson uh, is uh, appropriate preposition. So, uh, it will be better uh, first to, uh, to look at, to have a uh, catch at the word uh, preposition. A preposition is a word governing and usually preceding a noun or a pronoun and a preposition expresses a relation to another word in a clause or in a sentence. That is why though uh, the preposition is smaller in length but its importance is huge. Uh, look at the examples of preposition in, on, at, for, with, beyond, against, etc. These are uh, these are the num words uh, which 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 are uh, usually very small, but their importance cannot be ignored. And that's why, because of this uh, increasing importance. Uh, uh, the term appro appropriate prepositions uh, arrive, arises. So, uh, appropriate preposition refers to the specified and proper usage of prepositions in different situations. So, ap appropriate prepositions uh, demand that we should uh, use different preposition with the same word, with the same word to indicate different meanings uh, according to the or based on the perspective or different contexts. So, uh, our uh, use of preposition with the same word uh, will determine the exact or precise meaning of the word, especially uh, in the matters of using phrase. We must be careful. Uh, regarding the appropriate prepositions. Say for example, if we, uh, if we considered uh, the word, same word, call, but uh, we will have uh, at least four, four prepositions here. Call in, call on, call at, call for. So if you say call in your friends, if we say call in your friends, here call in will mean send for. That means you will send for your friends. You will face your friends. If we say uh, call on your friends at their office, then a call on will refer to visit and call at will refer to a visit to a particular place and finally call for. The word call for means demand or urge. Say for example call for the government should call for appropriate precautionary measures steps to reduce the harmful, harmful impact of earthquakes. So, my dear students, uh, 
from this example, uh, we can easily realize the importance of being alert, being very much cautious regarding the use of appropriate prepositions. Uh, now we will elaborate on this topic. Okay, now first uh, I will erase the board for you to write a um, few more sentences. Say for example, we can take another another uh, use of the word involve involve so involved in involved with if we say involved in it means participation participation involved with when we use involved with we mean association and we can uh, distinguish the uh, we can un clearly understand the difference if we uh, give uh, to examples uh, by with the help of sentences uh, mr x is involved involved in the plot in the scheme mr x is involved in the plot or in the uh, scheme means conspiracy. The Mr. X is involved in the plot or in the scheme. But if we say Mr. X is involved with the is involved with the resources. Then uh, the, we actually indicate that uh, Mr. X is associated with the uh, with the resources. So, the word in and with uh, distinguish the meaning, different meaning of these two sentences. Uh, in the first place, involved in indicates uh, participation. In the second place, involved with indicates association. Now we can uh, we can refer to uh, another example. Say for example, uh, connected. So connected, connected So the word say for example connected it has also uh, uh, it has use with two prepositions uh, prepositions to and preposition with when uh, we say uh, connected to uh, it means uh, physical physical connection physical connection physical connection and we can give example that 
the the computer the computer is connected to the projector the computer is connected to the projector uh, here it indicates a physical level of connection but if we say connected with it indicates uh, you can say relationship relationship the students are connected the students are connected with the debating club so uh, connected with refers to the uh, relationship between the students and the uh, debating club or connected with uh, uh, this institution so the reference is uh, relationship about relationship but connected to refers to physical condition so in this way we find that uh, the different use of different um, prepositions with the same word makes uh, a meaning of a sentence uh, clearly distinct from other if we take a, another common example uh, say for example the word die the word die we use uh, die of uh, die for die from die by uh, so we use uh, die of die for die from die by die in so uh, we use uh, at least five different prepositions with the same word uh, die the word uh, if we say die of die of uh, tuberculosis if we say the patient the patient die of tuberculosis it refer it 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 indicates the cause of death by a disease but if we say uh, die for a noble cause die for noble cause or die for a die for a once motherland once motherland so we can say uh, the students uh, died 
or we can say the language the language martyrs the language martyr died for mother tongue mother tongue the the language martyrs died for their mother tongue bangla in 1952 uh, the liberation the martyrs in the liberation war the liberation martyrs those who died those the uh, martyrs in the liberation war the martyrs in the liberation war the martyrs in the liberation war died for their motherland that is Bangladesh mother tongue that is Bangla so if we say that the language martyrs die we cannot use the preposition of or from with the word die the here the appropriate preposition is for because uh, for uh, die for indicates sacrifice sacrifice so uh, die for a noble cause die for one's motherland that's why we we say the language martyrs died for mother tongue mangla and the martyrs in the liberation war died for their motherland that is bangladesh in 1971 but uh, not all the time die for indicates not all the time die for indicates uh, uh, death for a noble cause die for can indicate uh, eagerness die for can indicate eagerness the state of being eager die for can in indicate uh, he he dies for a drink he dies for an adventure here dies for doesn't mean disease decay or death here uh, dies for means uh, extreme level of longing uh, to wish something uh, very sincerely uh, means uh, die for so uh, the word uh, die for uh, the, and uh, he die for a drink he dies for an adventure okay uh, then uh, we have the we have the uh, word die from when we, we say we can say die from uh, we can say die from that means uh, uh, the, the old man the old man died from over exhaustion exhaustion over tiredness overeating over anxiety so when we see words that has 
association that have association with over that means excess over exhaustion over tiredness overeating over anxiety then we use the preposition from with the word die so uh, he the old man died from over exertion exertion over tiredness over eating over anxiety and when we use die by then we we say we usually refers to uh, punishment or execution uh, the culprit the culprit was sentenced the culprit was sentenced to die by hanging the culprit was sentenced to die by poison and uh, uh, there are other there is other uh, expression form of expression done uh, by a gunshot so the culprit was uh, sentenced to die by hanging by poison by gunshot and now uh, die in die in uh we have uh die in harness uh, and a special uh, type to die before retirement to die while working so uh, the the manager the manager of the bank died in harness that means the man died while he was in the middle of his working career the that means the man uh, was uh, working at the time of his death uh, that means the man was dedicated to his work uh till the last uh, moment of his uh breath his death so th there are different types if 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 we say uh, cancer uh, if we want to uh, make cancer the cause of uh, uh, a uh, death then we say the old man died from cancer but as we have told you not all the time not all the time uh, die refers to actual death or physical death if i say if i say uh, i am i am dying from i am dying from curiosity i am dying from curiosity so uh, that means i am extremely inter, uh, interested to know eager to know curious to know uh, something there and that's why uh, i am dying from curiosity so the word uh, the word die is one single word but it takes different meanings when it is followed by different uh, prepositions and uh, the meaning of these different prepositions this the use of these different prepositions uh, give the phrase with die a 
distinct meaning. Uh, so we must be careful uh, to distinguish the appropriate preposition because if we uh, do not use the appropriate preposition then our sentence will give a wrong message to the readers and uh, if we use a, a wrong preposition uh, then we will be uh, we will have to face penalty uh, on the part uh, from the part of the uh, examiner who uh, is going to examine our uh, answer paper uh, after the HSC exam. So uh, we must be very careful regarding this. Now my dear student we will uh, say uh, some uh, specific uh, some, some specific or current uh, topics using appropriate preposition. Say for example if you if you face uh, this type of uh, thing, uh, uh, I'm writing some sentence. Okay, my dear student, uh, we have uh, uh, written uh, five uh, sentences uh, to illustrate uh, further use of appropriate preposition. Uh, say, for example, a COVID-19 patient can die 
then gap and any age. So uh, when you are faced with this challenge, uh, you have to uh, you have to uh, focus on the word is and uh, uh, is the word is is usually uh, is is usually uh, preceded by uh, the preposition at so uh, a covid patient 19 patient can die at any age so uh, the presence of the word as uh, as has uh, made it confirm that we should use at as the appropriate preposition with the word die. Then the second one, irrespective, uh, irrespective uh, or regardless, regardless, then gap is religion or any matters. People must abide this then second gap of the rules of health. The word, the word irrespective manoche nirbe nirbishashe kunorokom bibe chorana kore kunorokom boisham mona kore. So uh, this word demands that we should use preposition of as the appropriate preposition here. So, irrespective of age, religion or any matters, people must avoid by. Avoid by means follow. So, uh, here the appropriate preposition would be by after the verb avoid. So, the, we get the phrase avoid by. Avoid by means follow which is in keeping with the meaning of this uh, sentence. So, irrespective of or regardless of is, the boyosh, dharma, unno je kuno bishoy ke amra upekha kore, bibechonai na niye amra bolte pari, people must avoid by the rules of health. Manushka abushoi shastho vidhi mene cholto hove. Same, the same sentence, only the variation uh, in, in a state of irrespective, in a state of regardless, if we use without regard, then we should use without regard to, or we should use without regard for. Here we have two options. We can either use two or for to fill in the gap. That means without regard to age, religion or any matters, people must abide by the rules of health. And we can also use, use for and thus we can say without regard for age, religion or any matters, people must abide by the rules of health. Then uh, question uh, number four, avoid by uh, the first question number four, a pandemic is a disease. So there is definition of pandemic. Uh, say for example, COVID-19 is a pandemic. A pandemic is a disease prevalent. The word prevalent uh, demands uh, the appropriate preposition over, prevalent over a whole country or the world. So, a pandemic is a disease which is prevalent over a whole country or uh, the world. We must use over with the adjective, adjective prevalent. Now, our uh, last, uh, last example uh, of today's class is a is a is an easier one people infected with covid 19 infected with infected with covid 19 will experience different forms of respiratory 
in less. So, my dear students, uh, we uh, so far we have gone or discussed, we have understood or realized that we must be careful uh, regarding our uh, use of uh, use of prepositions because uh, wrong use of prepositions will create chaos, confusion, error and right use of preposition uh, will make our sentence meaningful and clear to the uh, audience, to the readers. Uh, so we should uh, try to be appropriate, precise in the matters of using prepositions. Thank you, my dear students. That's all for today. Allah Hafiz.